I mean, it kind of had to happen eventually, right? And you're back in time loop once more. My lip is incredibly itchy. Um, I'm going to turn this on because I really have had enough locking up. Um, we have arrived at Barcelona, Catalonia. Literally the same thing, I think. Bar I think Catalonia is in Barcelona, but anyway. And this is the penultimate stop in the kind of like universe zero scour the globe type thing that everyone's doing. So from here on, unless we find carbon here, Kirk Carbon and or Paradox here or at Silverstone. Then we're just out of luck and we have to just scatter and look everywhere because there's like 40 different courses to pick from. We know from Monica that both drivers need to be near racetracks or places with a lot of speed because the kinetic energy created from racing machines is what allegedly fuels their abilities. Which, I mean, I guess that certainly ties together why all of this revolves around racing, because speed is power, and that seems kind of redundant, to be honest, when you put it in that context, but here we are. So yeah, we have a bit of irony, as on the pole, not that it really matters all that much, at Catalonia here is Bubbles, you know, the person that nearly died here the first time it appeared in Time Loop. Then we have Amy. This is actually no one at all. It's the same number as me, but it's the wrong design. Uh, 16 Angels. Also love Wolfgang Reh. Um, Battle Rocket, Ryan Storm. Uh, I want to say that's Remu. 16 Angels. Vert, Blossom, Romelia is here, and I'm playing as Nitori. So if that is Remu, then it'll be in her best interest to finish ahead of Romelia, I guess. I'm out of the loop with the series, so I honestly don't remember if we even know what if Romelia is here, but uh, we know now. Basically. Uh, I guess it's out of the HUD? There we go. You know how to play this game. My, uh, league racing has come to an utter halt. What are you two doing? Six Needles and that Ferrari were just trying to just, like... Okay, hi, Battle Rocket. They were, like, trying to just run each other off the road. That is three wide. Hi, Amy. You are going not very fast. Some people would say this is not an endurance racing track. I used to say this is a versatile race course. F1, GT... Other, like, subdivisions of those individual series. Anything can work at this track because it's just designed to be... Can you just stop already? Can I, so I can pass? Good lord. Enough piss measuring contests. <laughs> I see Amy is not done with them. Okay. What are we doing here, people? That Ferrari is a maniac. Yep, Aston, I, I'm, yeah, I, I exist. You are breaking ultra early. I am surrounded by idiots. As an Aston Martin has taken the lead away from Bubbles and... Miraculously, I'm going to complete lap one with no damage. Despite everyone's sheer lack of intelligence. 
despite this car's apparent lack of wanting to make that corner. All right, well now I can get a little bit less on edge because it means I don't have to restart the recording just yet because I have survived. That's not the braking zone at all. I'm looking at the brake light zone. Clouds are wispy and they are moving fast. I just saw up there, which means, well, carbon probably isn't even in this area. It's like, I want to pass this BMW, but I really don't know what in the world he's going to do when I try. He is going to be passed. Great. <laughs> Makes my job a little bit easier. I believe this is Marissa in front of me. And I also believe that that is the incorrect gear, but it still works because I'm going faster than Marissa. Oh, no, that's a 63. That's not there at all. No, I'm already here, lady. Or person. That's not Marissa. We just established. Moving in the braking zone normally is a penalty in normal motorsports. I would just like you to be aware. Now we reach the final chicane where the AI pull off a maneuver that the player simply cannot do because they make that corner like they've got cambered at like negative 37 degrees when you don't usually want it more than six because that's just like harming the car and tire at that point. Super late braking technique. Super incorrect gear technique because the gear ratios in the GT are weird. Talk about minimum brake force. I really don't want to do this, but you got such a terrible run out of that turn that I really couldn't even help it. Okay, never do that again. All right, I'm ahead of him. Doesn't matter. I don't have to. I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, I swear to God, if this AI does something crazy, this is not a safe distance, especially with the chicane in. I don't remember what half of these curbs do, but generally assume if you hit a curb, you are at risk of immediate destruction. That is sort of the golden rule I've operated on throughout most of time loop, and... I mean, it's mostly worked. Other than the times where it didn't, i.e. the first time that this track appeared. It is getting darker, and this Aston Martin is pushing. That is not how you look back. This is not Gran Turismo Sport. You just press triangle. I can tell that he is pushing really hard to stay with me because that's kind of how the AI in this game worked. Because, uh, well, on the previous lap, when I was trying to get around him, I was way faster in that third corner, and that time he just got up to my bumper. Vector AI difficulty level goes up like plus seven once you actually get by them.
I mean, yeah, like, a challenge is generally good, but, like, if I'm faster than them, I'm faster than them. Don't make them suddenly go better just because I'm going faster. That works in an arcade game. That doesn't make much sense in a sim racing game, or half sim, or, like, I'd call Project Cars 2 more like a 65% a sim or two-thirds sim. Because it's not a half sim, that would be like a Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport, honestly, or uh, like the Forza Motorsport series. But it isn't a full sim like iRacing or um, like Race Room or I don't know. Most of them are PC games. I don't have a PC. That's why I'm stuck here on a PS4 using built-in recording software to make videos that nobody watches. Is a lot more fun in a Formula One car, I'll tell you that. ones on this track that I think you can actually hit with no risks because they're the ones you hit at the lowest speed yeah so an external news that still has something to vaguely do with this video game as all the other AI are also turning their lights on I often say when I'm doing races in this game that, oh, I have this coming up in a league, or I have, you know, I'm doing this in a league soon, so this doubles as practice, or I, mean, I just did this in a league, so I have already warmed up to the track and conditions. Um, but no, that's, that's, that's mostly done. At least the endurance one, which uses, good lord. That was, uh, who turned off the lights? Yeah, the Endurance series, which uses cars like this, or the Corvette in my case. Um, yeah, that one ended, like, at the beginning of this month. And I won the GT Championship, so... Me using these cars is not a farce. I clearly have some sort of, you know, knowledge in the way of driving this machinery. Not that I really needed some sort of certification to do a gimmick YouTube series. Where I pretend that some unrelated character from a bullet hell is driving a Ford GT40 or Ford GT or GT40. If this were a Soto Corsa and Universe Zero, perhaps. I just hear the, like, uh, separated audio bit of just, like, someone clapping in the stands. But yeah, uh, it certainly helped in my case that my main championship opponent, who ironically was driving not this car, but the 52, which is in-game under the same team, I don't remember the name of, I think it's like Av, um, Av something Avenue. Maybe it says it on the car somewhere. I'm not going to look. Oh God, no. Okay, where am I? Lesson. I forgot. There's a, a that on top of the car. 
Why am I not looking on a straightaway? Why am I this stupid? There's a straightaway right here where I could inspect the top of the car. That. Avilgio. Avil... Avilgio? I don't know. That's the name of the team. And, uh... Yeah, the orange stripe in place of the green one. Um... He had a teammate who drives the 53 here. But he was in the 52. I was in the 60, which is the team car of Battle Rocket's vehicle. And I think is actually the one in this race, not the 61. Sometimes, actually most of the time, when those when those characters have a vehicle all to themselves, uh, I usually just say like, oh, it's that design, it's them. Which can create problems if, you know, the other version of that car also appears in the race. For example, those uh, pale blue Aston Martins. It doesn't matter if the number is actually 98 or not, every single one of them will be Ryan Storm. The one in this race is probably not even the right number. But because it's the pale blue Aston with the orange golf livery stripe on it, that's automatically Ryan Storm. Because it's just easier to keep track of, and easier to do, and I don't have to keep resetting each individual race 36 times to actually get, you know, a decent number of characters on the field. And considering, like, time constraints, in a sense, is kind of one of the main, like, drawbacks of doing time loop, just because this game, it doesn't load very fast. Most modern games don't. Um, the biggest examples I can think of being GTA 5, Fallout 4, as my friend Cam will usually tell me. And this is probably the third biggest defender in my eyes. Like, GTA 5 and Fallout have these, like, in-depth, like, fully, full-scale game worlds that it has to load into and, you know, update the condition of as things happen in it. And GTA 5 itself doesn't take that long. It's GTA Online and Rockstar's dodgy servers that make the game take so long to load. Fallout 4, from what I hear, slash have been told, is a lot of reused and recycled, um, recycled not content, recycled programming, that's the word. Code, programming, source code, mater source material, that's not it. <coughs> Ow talking too much, but it's telling me to slow down, but I cannot. I am commentating, therefore it is my job to talk for the next 10 minutes or so. But yeah, Fallout 4 has quite a bit of um, reused code and programming from previous Fallout titles. I mean, this is the company that has already released Skyrim like seven different times. And I wouldn't be surprised if Skyrim becomes a PS5 game as well. Same with apparently GTA 5 is also going down that same route as... It started as a PS3 game, came to the PS4 pretty fast. And now it's going to be, I think, a launch title for the PlayStation 5. And people are not happy because they were looking for GTA 6. And of course, there's exclu going to be exclusive, free, in quotes, content of GTA 5 on the new system. And all of that's just kind of the same song and dance from when it went from the PS3 to the PS4. And Nittery has been studying this track. She made her way through the traffic and has just walked away with this event.
But yeah, um, yeah, so that's those games' excuses. GTA V just has bad servers, which, mind you, it's not a good excuse. But it's still more viable. And Fallout 4 has a huge game world, which is, like, about half the size of Massachusetts. Which, yes, Massachusetts is not very big of a land mass, but to be the location of a video game, an entire video game, that's quite big. But all Project Cars 2 is loading is, in this case, it's loading one track, and there's nothing to load beyond anything I can see while driving the track, other than like a flat, blurry texture outside of the track boundaries with no collisions or physics or anything to be had. Same thing goes for the infield of the track. It's not like I'm loading into Barcelona, so the game has to load Watkins Glen and Fuji Speedway as well. No, it just has to load the things you've seen ten different times as I've as I've run this race. And then the 20 cars. Mind you, each of said 20 cars does have its own physics to render, but figure of, like, Fallout, it has to load in a bunch of enemies and NPCs. It also has to load in, um, like, randomized loot in, like, other containers. It also has to load the programming for those NPCs and enemies. It has to load in... Well, it has physics for everything from cones and barrels to the, uh, well, now relic automobiles. Holy fog, we've entered Silent Hill. I guess it could be worse, it's not rain. Nope, it's not rain, just a bit of fog. <laughs> Luckily, I kind of know the layout of this track, so it's not going to be a problem. I mean, heck, I think it even took me a moment to even acknowledge that it was happening. Yeah, so Fallout has to load physics for individual objects as well, just like this game does. You know, if I hit that cone over there, yeah, physics will act on it, but you can bump into a fence or break a fence in Fallout, and it works basically the same as, I hit a, as if I hit a cone. So, now you can see the problem that I have when it comes to the loading times of this game. It's a three-minute startup sequence from starting the application to reaching the demo screen. Or, like, the little intro movie this game has that I never actually showed, I don't think. That was an incredibly awkward turn. Now getting some like early morning London like detective mystery movie vibes for some odd reason right now. I like just like walked into or drove into, rather, an episode of Sherlock Holmes, but in Barcelona. It's like a... World's most detailed gothic noir filter or something. I also like how all three of my other tires are right at the perfect temperature, except for one part of my right front. That was too late. Also, first gear in this car, I'm convinced, doesn't exist. And as for other leagues, like, the endurance thing is done. That's going to be done for a while. God actually knows how long, because of the whole... Um, mania as far as the new releases are going between Project Cars 3 
and a subtle course of Competizione, which by the way, that cannot become a series because the kind of championships mode I used for Universe Zero on the original Assetto Corsa does not exist. There is a basic season mode, but you can't customize anything other than your car. You can't even choose what tracks to go to or in what order, and you certainly can't choose your opponent's cars or their names. So, any reason I personally would have had outside of having Delete Grace on that game has gone out the window for that. The Project Cars 3 Despite being a direct sequel to this game, albeit developed by a different company, the same company that handles the F1 video games that I do on Red Hot Racing Circuit for, which that's its own different story I'll get into in another episode of this. But basically, I'm kind of withholding that series. I have not really been in any kind of an F1 mood lately in the last, like, month or two. I barely managed to convince myself to record that episode and the French Grand Prix. And... <clears throat> I uploaded that and then it took me like three days to remember... Or I recorded that with Tyler and then it took me another three days to remember, Oh yeah, I have to upload this. And edit this. Damn it. Um... I just kind of figured if I'm not in an F1 mood... Wait until F1 2020 comes out literally in just over a week. And go crazy on that game instead. Also, holy cow, that lap time. And this will also be the final lap of the race. Still isn't going to quite reach first record of winning by, what was it, 14 seconds? But this is still pretty resounding, especially from having to pass 10 cars and doing so in a matter of two or three laps, I think. Not even three, I think it was literally just two. Had I started on pole, uh, I slash Nittery probably could have won this race by an easy 10 seconds. Yeah, that's what would like technically be happening to the system of um, Red Hot Racing Circuit. Um, basically terminated. Um, like I, it's not that I just I couldn't bear not I couldn't bear. I just didn't ever have the desire to proceed with that series. Man, I already had a big plan for the next season in the next game of something completely different. Anyone who follows the actual game and the process of it being made will know probably what I'm talking about when I say that. I'm gonna actually run the cooldown lap and continue talking. Looks like I won by eight seconds. Uh, yeah, not quite the record, but I think that might be the most in a GTE race. But yeah, I was just like. I don't know if I'm going to take the videos down for Season 2 of Red Hot. Obviously, Season 1's going to exist, but... Season 2 is going to have ended at France, and that's going to be incredibly awkward. It's that simple, Bubbles. Just don't turn and don't lose it, and well, you won't lose it. A 
So as I come around and finish the cooldown lap and also finish the episode of Time Loop. Um, I'll probably be hitting up multiple recordings in this session as I don't know what I'm going to do when it comes to Project Cars 3. I asked, pardon. I guess they were interested in coming to the pits. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that because I don't know if I'm in a position to get Project Cars 3 if I don't have to. But a subtle course of cup. Competition really doesn't look much better for league racing. But the problem with P Cars 3 is they basically made it into, like I said, a sim K game to where they like. It's basically, it's got the same car list as this. But now you can upgrade them. Like it's a Need for Speed game or Forza game or Gran Turismo. But. Um, like, the changes they're making, such as removing the fuel and tire wear, like fuel use and tire wear, and therefore removing, like taking pit stops out of the game completely. A game without pit stops is obviously not unheard of. Um, and like, the fact that they're kind of saying, like, you know, by not having pit stops, the racing is more consistent and more competitive, so you can, you know, focus on the racing aspect, which is what the game is supposed to be meant for. Yes, but this is Project Cars we're talking about, which was designed to fulfill those aspects for a console, and not, you know, so, you know, us broke guys who don't have the money to shell out for a gaming computer, can enjoy something of a sim because a Soto Corsa, let's be real here, is bad. And I don't know anything about a Soto Corsa Competizione because everyone that I know that has the game, which is everyone in the league that I race in, has a racing wheel and not a controller like I do. Hey again, Aston Martin. I've always sat here for two minutes, huh? Okay. But yeah, so it's like, that's what it amounts to. If if I learn that that game is bad on a controller, but that's where the league racing is going to go as far as GT racing, I'm screwed because I'm one person and that league is comprised of 70% wheel users nowadays as time has progressed. So the seven people saying yes because it drives good on a wheel will overrule the singular person of me saying no because it doesn't do well on a controller. But Project Cars 3 doesn't seem much more fit either. Uh, Soto Corsa, compared to Project Cars 3, has all that other stuff, but it lacks private lobbies. You have to use password protected rooms, which can be finicky. And I've been hearing some cases of frame drops and wheel errors. Yeah, a racing game not aware that you have a wheel is a problem, especially if it's a sim racer where you're supposed to you're supposed to use those sort of things and a controller comes as a second priority, since most racing sims are designed with computers in mind. But I think we've all I think everyone's ruled out Project Cars 3 as the game to do it because it's taken pit stops out of the question and that makes it so you know like the endurance factor is gone. Again? Are you ever going to go in? Are you ever going to run out of fuel with that? Anyway, um... But, like, my thoughts on that are... 
everyone's saying Project Cars is ruined because of what they're doing to the game. Yeah, kind of. However, I think if they had given the game, if it were the same game, just with a name that wasn't Project Cars 3, if it were even a spin-off, like if it were this proposed Project Cars Revolution that we'd heard about. Or if it were like, you know, the next grid title or anything else. If it weren't Project Cars that they were making, then people wouldn't be upset about these changes and these things because that's how the game is meant to be. It's the fact that, like, they're changing what Project Cars is to what it will be. That's the problem because it wasn't what it was before. If they were just, in a, if they just made an original title and did this to the game, it wouldn't be such a problem. The same thing kind of goes of like. Uh, what's an example? Like, people were annoyed about Gran Turismo Sport because it, Gran Turismo has always been a game about, you know, simulation mode and huge car lineups and a bit of customizability. And while you get a lot of customizability in GT Sport, um, the car list now, as the game pretty much approaches the end of its life cycle, as Gran Turismo 7 has been announced as a game for the PS5. And I'm hoping they bring back the kind of like, like 750 plus car list, or you know, that, like that'd be the minimum I would look forward to. If it's 750 or 650, even I'd be pleased because that'd be Gran Turismo 2. But GT Sport has like 330, and that's after they've added like three years worth of content to the game in like five to seven cars per month. So you average that out, that would be like, that should be like an extra, like 180 cars added to the game. So the lineup, or the size of the game's car lineup has like doubled. I am ranting and this has nothing to do with time loop at all. But it does kind of in the same way because these are kind of things I'm saying about the game, or the games in the future because, well, I'm going to try and get time loop done. We're going to 100 episodes. I know it used to be 125, but I would like to have the options open, see how Project Cars 3 works, and time loop will be done, but if Project Cars 3 is worth a darn, then I will go to that and do a similar-ish series, but probably not involving many Hot Wheels characters or many external characters at all. It'll probably just be a condensed thing. And I, I don't know, I just know it's not going to be Time Loop 3 or, you know, Universe Zero, Time Loop, it's not going to add to that trilogy.